Assalamu alaikum and greetings to everyone. You are now with me, Nadia Melissa, on TVS New News, 3 January 2018. The state has declared an all-out war against stray dogs following reports of increase in bites by suspected rabid dogs here and in Julau in Sarika Division last month. The areas in Kuching Division where the increased dog bites were reported are Lorong Ketiter in Batukawa, Taman Maliha and Taman Trimakmo in Matang, and Kampong Singai Atas in Bau. Deputy Chief Minister Dato' Ahmad Douglas Ugah Embas said the State Disaster Management Committee met yesterday and decided to launch an operation against stray dogs starting today in response to the rising number of reported dog bites in a bid to curb the spread of rabies in the state. Uga, who is chairman of the committee, said several government agencies and departments will be involved in the operation. The integrated operation here will start at a spot near Siang Siang Food Centre in Matang at 3 p.m. today. Any dogs found roaming around, including pet dogs and those with tags indicating that they have been vaccinated with anti-rabies, would not be spared. The dogs caught would be kept for 48 hours before being put down and pet owners must claim their dogs within that period. Access to early childhood education in Sarawak is set to reach 100% by 2020. Minister of Welfare, Community Wellbeing, Women, Family and Childhood Development Dato Sri Fatima Abdullah said currently 97.5% of children in year one underwent preschool education prior to entering primary school. During a visit to the Community Development Department Taska Pamata at Kampong Sri Tajo, Asajaya, she said their vision is to provide access to early childhood education to all is showing signs of success and awareness among parents is significantly showing improvement. Fatima said the government's aim to provide 100% access to early childhood education by 2020 can be achieved and is nearing its target. On a related matter, the minister stressed that the quality of early childhood education is another important factor that needs to be looked into as it will provide the necessary impact. And that's all from me, Nadia Melissa for TVS New News. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more updates. You can watch us anytime, anywhere.